Okay, so I just wanted to create one more video using this example that we have using the web browser controls. So let's say you wanted to create a little robot that is continually doing a loop, maybe every minute, every two minutes, checking a website for some certain data. And in this case, I'm going to use the example of CNN.com. Let's say that you want to query this web page over and over and over and see if a certain string exists. And let me show you how to do that. So we already have some code set up where we're going to the website. It's in range K2. And we have, we're assigning it to a text box one. We're assigning the web browser, document, body, and then enter text. So I'm gonna remove that first off, make the code non-executable. And what I'm going to do is put the HTML code is equal to and we'll just copy this sheet one web browser one dot document dot body dot enter text so let's just say that you want your program to do something when a certain string exists in this case I'm gonna say you wanted to say a, a message box comes up when a certain string exists so I'll put if INSTR the HTML code now look INSTR first off is case sensitive so you know what I'm going to do I'm gonna put L case the HTML code so that way all of the HTML code is in lowercase and we'll just put Obama if that is greater than zero then message box the string Obama was found within the HTML code and if and let's just play that real quick and see what happens where this is using method 2 method 2 websites going and of course here looking at the web page cnn.com we see that there is something here with Obama and Microsoft Excel VBA tells us the string Obama was found within the HTML code now I'm gonna hit OK and I'm gonna change this to say Washington actually we might see Washington here let me try Let's see if there's anything having to do with Bush. And I'm going to change this to else. Message box. There was no string found. And if. And let's play that code. There was no string found. So just to double check this, I'm going to open up CNN. As far as I can see from this site, I don't see the string Bush anywhere. And I'm going to do a control F for Bush. And no matches are found. So, I mean, this is just one way to quickly check a web page to see if a certain string exists. Now, of course, you can get creative, create your own do loop, and put a little timer in there where maybe every 60 seconds the code executes and see if the string is found and if the string is found then instead of having just a little message box come up right here you can have your code execute whatever code it is that you, whatever code it is that you want your program to do well I hope you enjoyed this video thank you for watching